السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیٹر سائنس لیکچر ٹوڈے وی وڈ بی ڈسکسنگ سیکشن 3.1.5 امبیڈڈ سسٹم ان امبیڈڈ سسٹم ایز ایم ایکرو پروسسر بیسٹ کمپیٹر ہارڈویر سسٹم بیٹ سوفٹویر دیٹ ایز ڈیزائن ٹو پرفارم ای ڈیڈیکیٹڈ فنکشن اور ای سپیسیفک ٹاسک ایڈر ایز ان انڈیپینڈنٹ سسٹم اور ایز اپارٹ آف الارجر سسٹم Embedded system applications range from digital watches and microwaves to hybrid vehicles and avionics. Embedded system is basically a computerized system or a circuit that is controlled by a microprocessor and it is designed to perform some specific task. For example, it is designed to uh, control an automatic washing machine or it is designed to uh run a digital clock or it is designed to run a um, some other electronic device such as autopilot of uh, an aeroplane and so on one of the key features that sets an embedded system apart from a general purpose system is that the user is simply a user rather than having an influence over the programming of of the device when you are uh, using your laptop or computer then you are able to modify uh, different softwares you are able to install and delete different softwares and applications you are able to make changes to the windows settings whereas when you are using an embedded system then you cannot make those changes you cannot uh, alter the software of your microwave or, or your digital watch or your smart watch you have to use them as it is whatever functionality the company has included or whatever is the built-in functionality you have to work with that on a laptop for instance a user can upgrade the operating system but on a satellite navigation device they have to plug the device into a computer and let it update automatically or send the device away to the manufacturer for an update Embedded systems tend to be a low power devices due to their limited nature and capabilities. This does mean that they can be quite compact. For example, a watch means they can be small in size and they can also be operated using a battery for power such as a scientific calculator. These systems can be based on microcontrollers, microprocessors and SOC or system on a chip. so this is a cpu or a microprocessor this is what a microcontroller li looks like this is another type of microprocessor uh, the this type of microprocessors were used in earlier systems and this is what a system on chip looks like So let's discuss them one by one. The microprocessor. A microprocessor is an IC or integrated circuit that has only a CPU, central processing unit, without other necessary components inside the packaging. This is what an a microprocessor looks like inside a computer. This type of microprocessors are usually placed inside devices or uh, usually inside uh, what you can say uh, embedded systems this is fourth generation code core i7 processor as you can see it's written over here its packaging does not contain ram rom and other components requ required to perform a task that is why it needs external components to complete a task A microcontroller is a mini computer on a single semiconductor IC or a single integrated circuit. It is a complete computer and has all the essential components needed on a single chip such as RAM, ROM, uh, input output ports, serial ports and timers etc. This is what a microcontroller looks like. It is uh, usually put inside devices with a long list of functionalities. this is a detailed image or of a microcontroller c a microprocessor only contains this part this is 
this part the CPU part whereas it contains program RAM it contains a RAM, uh, program memory a RAM a microprocessor or a CPU it contains AD converters analog to digital converters it contains oscillator or a system clock it contains ports it contains power supply and many other things this is basically you can say this is a, a, um, a, a simple computer system that has been um, set inside a single chip number three system on a chip a system on a chip is an integrated circuit or an IC that integrates all or most components of a computer or other electronic system these components always include a CPU memory input output port secondary storage often along other components such as radio modems and a graphic processing unit the difference between a microcontroller and a system on chip is that they both contain all the components of a normal computer but the difference between them is that a GPU and a secondary storage is not included in a microcontroller but a GPU, a Wi-Fi circuit and a secondary storage is included in a system on a chip. System on a chip usually looks similar to these chips these chips but they contain more components as compared to a microcontroller advantages of embedded system they are simple to deliver high higher creation they have a simple design so it is easy to create some cutting edge some ad hoc design they cost less for per bit of resultant means it is easier to manufacture them with at less cost it has not many interconnections it has a better steady and higher speed they are versatile because they are little in size it can bear a wide assortment of climate it has no UI user interface so their software is uh, what you can say lesser in size and there are lesser blocks of code which are needed to be repeated to run prearranged program for client application as an installed framework or uh, ordinarily plays out basic job that doesn't change the necessities for the working framework are less difficult when you're developing uh, an operating system for a computer system you have to take care of a lot of necessities whereas embedded systems do not have user interfaces and they ha have very less uh, functionality so it is easier to develop a software to run them and to um, install that software on an embedded system and to utilize it for a very long time now what are the disadvantages subsequent to creating installed framework you can't make any alterations improvement or upgrades well, it's just like you cannot install the software of your scientific calculator or, or you cannot upgrade it whereas you can upgrade your windows or your operating system it is hard to keep up because since it cannot be upgraded so when the technology advances your device is just going to be uh, out of date hard to take a backup of implemented documents embedded systems usually do not have a USB port or do not have the option for you to access their memory and make a backup of whatever is on the device onto your laptop or computer you need to reset all settings due to happen uh, due to if there is any issue in the framework investigating problems or errors is harder because all the components are packed in such a small size that it is difficult to uh, investigate where the problem actually occurred it is harder to move information from one framework to another framework because all the frameworks utilize different architectures and different technologies restricted assets for memory the embedded systems usually do not have very large memory and they have very limited memory can lead to an increase in the throwaway society because like discussed before their systems or their functionalities cannot be upgraded so once that technology has became out of date you have no 
uh, way of recycling it or upgrading it you'll just have to throw it away examples of embedded system embedded systems basically have three simple uh, things or you can say four simple components some form of input some form of memory and some form of output so uh, this is a stop box system or uh, you can say a uh, satellite cable device so it can have three types of input cable input aerial input or satellite input this is the front end and it has a stop box controller device which has an ssd solid state drive and a ram these both are memories and a front panel which uh, detects remote signal or manual input and an interface with an hdmi output or analog audio output then we have a security system in the security system the inputs are uh, related to sensors temperature pressure acoustic light infrared or whatever type of system there is then there is an ssd to record any activities and there is ram to run the system and there is a keypad interface so that you can uh, activate or deactivate the security system and then there is an output usually in the security system the output is in form of an alarm or some flashing lights that are turned on and we have vending machines tilting sensors to make sure machine isn't being tampered with actuators to control uh, motors that dispense items display showing price change etc wireless modem to send data back to vending machine operator temperature sensor to maintain correct environment for items coin counter to ensure correct money sensor to show position of gates which hold the items in place input pad to make selection and then in vending machine output is physical whatever uh, uh, whatever type of uh, product you have chosen that product is simply pushed out of the machine and at some places in a few models there is also a thermal printer which prints a small recipes and gives a hard copy output so this was section 3.1 computer architecture i hope you have understood feel free to contact me if you have any problem take care allah hafiz i'll see you guys next time allah hafiz